Like, look at that sea of people all there to watch wrestling. And it was so good. Whether you're a wrestling fan or not, if you ever get the opportunity, if somebody just hands you tickets to go to WrestleMania, just do it. Just do it. You're going to have a great time. It's so fun. Anyways, WrestleMania was lit. WWE got bought by the same company that owns UFC, and they're going to be branched under one company together now. So buckle up. If I go to UFC, does that also mean I go to WrestleMania? Wouldn't it be wild if they started doing like UFC fights WrestleMania weekend on Friday, have the UFC night, and then Saturday and Sunday in the same city have WrestleMania? Keep Vince away from the UFC. Yeah, please. Please keep Vince away from the UFC. But also keep... Keep, you know, like billionaires away from everything. Keep Dana White away from anything. Keep Vince McMahon away from everything. Ari Emanuel away from everything. I don't trust any of them. But yeah, WrestleMania was tight. That's where I was last weekend. That's why I didn't get to stream last weekend. So sorry, but I'm back now. Anybody seen Super Mario Brothers movie yet? Super Mario Brothers is projected right now to be the highest gross and animated film of all time. It's just such a wild time to be alive as a video game fan. Now we have The Last of Us, which has been the most successful show of the year. And we have Super Mario Brothers, which is the most seen movie. Video game adaptations are taking over, y'all. And I'm scared. I'm excited. Obviously, I've been talking about video game adaptations for a long time now. Since Last of Us started, I went really ham on just kind of chatting all about it. Because I'm excited about it. I want to work on one. Now that a... TV show has done it successfully and a movie has done it successfully, I would 100% expect a bunch of studio execs to go to office on Monday and be asking, where's my video game adaptation? Super Mario Bros. is going to pop off. I really think that we're going to end up seeing all of the big Nintendo properties become movies and become the new MCU. But like, it'll still be its own thing because it's animated. So I think they're going to take over a corner of animated films. And much like we saw with the MCU kind of pushing all of this original stories out of the way and being like, adaptations for life, right? We're going to see that in the animated side of things which is going to be kind of sad. I really think that just in a couple of years, you're going to be seeing Pixar movies and they're going to look like art house films because they have original stories. Meanwhile, Nintendo is going to be dropping a bunch of big animated films over and over and all of their sequels and they'll probably do one big event film that brings them all together, you know, like a Super Smash Brothers movie or something. That's going to be like the new thing, the NCU. The Nintendo Cinematic Universe. It's going to be so weird. There's another bit of cool video game adaptation news on the good side of things. Because I love a good horror movie and I love a good Bl Blumhouse production. Finally got a photo of Five Nights at Freddy's. A little teaser at the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that we're going to be getting. Releases October 27th, which kind of surprised me because there was only news very recently about it going to production. It's going to be released in theaters and I think on one of the streaming platforms i don't remember which one same day so that m gives me a little pause anytime a studio does that feels like they're not confident it's gonna do too hot we're gonna have to play five nights at freddy's on stream i've never played it also live action minecraft movie i knew that a minecraft movie was coming i had no idea that it was a live action minecraft movie i don't know how that works they should do a live action hogwarts legacy movie it's been talked about it's been talked about like it came up the video game did so well, so Warner Brothers Discovery started talking about turning it into a series. Listen. Cut it out. The other news from the Harry Potter verse is that they're redoing it. They're rebooting it. Just Harry Potter. The books are getting rebooted as a TV series. I like a good adaptation, right? I like a good adaptation. If you can take a book or a video game and you can adapt it and do it well, good on you. But if you reboot an adaptation you are fully admitting that you just don't have an idea we're at we're fresh out of ideas we've hit the bottom of the barrel we don't know what to do anymore we've done enough with the harry potter world you can do all the like little spin-off things too right like i'm not against those whatever those prequels were called i'm not gonna watch them but i'm i'm okay with them there's other stories that can be found in that universe just make it something new but if you're just gonna remake the harry potter books into a tv series and retell that story what are we doing?
why are we doing that? Speaking of the Harry Potter situation, there's also a Resident Evil reboot in the works. We're trying over. We're just going to run it back. We messed up on the first one. We're just going to do it over again. This one, maybe I feel a little bit better about. Maybe they'll actually do it right, but I doubt it. Who asked for this? Actually, I know who asked for this. It was the studio execs that saw the success of video game adaptations side by side with the success of the Resident Evil remakes, which have been really great, apparently. Supposedly the Resident Evil 4 remake is lit, but I still don't want it. I don't want this. Um, we got a whole bunch of movie trailers this week. I'm so excited for this movie. It's stupid. Let's go. Hi, Barbie. This looks so Hi, fun. It's got a ton Hi, of people in it. it. Looks really funny. Ryan Gosling just cooking. It looks really I good. Stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. I'm curious, based off of the story, like, is it going to be told as if though it is written by a young girl playing with her dolls? You know, that's what that sort of line signifies to me. Kate McKinnon playing one. Will Ferrell's in this movie. Let's go. Got a lot of Grease vibes. Look at all those people. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Hello? Michael Sarah? Let's go. Here's the funny thing that I've been seeing all over the internet. July 21st, we're going to get Barbie and Oppenheimer all at once. And there's a full-on battle happening on the interwebs of all the people that are excited about Oppenheimer, all the people that are excited about Barbie, which are two very different camps. And it is so fun to watch. But when this trailer dropped, everybody was like, oh, the Oppenheimer vibe is like hurting because this trailer looks so fun. I'm very excited for Oppenheimer. I'll admit I'm very excited for Oppenheimer, but I, you, you ask me right now, which one I'm going to see opening night. I don't know. I have no idea. I think I have to see them both on the same day. Not sold on Oppenheimer yet? Fair. It, it's kind of tough. Christopher Nolan is really hit or miss for me. Where that movie could land, I, I have no idea. It could be really boring. It could also be one of the greatest stories ever. I think it's going to be either really bad or really good.